How's it going, everyone? My name is Young Mushin. Welcome to Decks and Daggers. Basically, this is a deck building, you know, card RPG, uh, dungeon crawling. It, it, it's a dungeon crawling RPG. A deck building dungeon crawling RPG. I don't know why that was like hard for me to think about, but that's really it. Um, I don't know if it's considered a roguelite or roguelike or if it's even in that like realm of the same things. I believe there is replayability and uh, upgrading your... Uh, <coughs> Upgrading your like your deck and all that. I don't know if this would be considered that but I kind of feel that way Again, I don't really even know the difference between roguelike and road rogue light and rogue like so I, I know they have to do with uh, upgrading your your person or your abilities permanently and not permanently I don't know, but anyways, this is a dungeon crawler. I love dungeon crawlers, and I'm slowly finding out that I am liking card games that are like this. I'm usually used to like Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, uh, Keyforge and Hearthstone and you know all those regular traditional card games. This one feels a little different. You use your cards to traverse down uh, dungeons, and you kind of you'll you'll get what I'm saying uh, when you see it. But it's very very hard. I, I, I can probably guarantee we're gonna die two or three times during this playthrough. I'm probably gonna have to start over uh, a couple times. Like, this is not gonna be a long episode, probably about 20 to 25 minutes. But I just played this for about 25 minutes and I died like four times. I, this, this is a tough game. But if you like it, I will have the description, I'll have the links to the, uh, the demo and the actual game. The demo is on itch.io and the actual game is on Steam, so I'll have those links down in the description below. Make sure you check them out if you like this kind of game, because I, I really do enjoy it. So let's go ahead and check this out. I'm not gonna play through the tutorial just because, like, to give us a little bit more time. Ah! You know what? I will play through the tutorial, just so you guys have an understanding of how to do the things. Basically, the tutorial takes like five minutes. You guys got this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, and here we are. I named myself Mush Mush. Uh, with a loud bang, the dungeon door is smashed open. Sharper minds would have probably used the doorknob, but one that looked, but one look at a large man emerging from the dust would reveal that subtlety is not one of his character. Oh, subtlety. Subtlety is not one of his characteristics. Let's go ahead and start the tutorial. In order to win a game, you have to clear the dungeon deck on the left side, as you, you can see how many dungeon cards you have left. This is your hero icon. Here you can see the amount of health your hero has, the amount of gold you have collected in this dungeon. Your hero has three card slots. Each round has five dungeon each round five dungeon cards are drawn for the deck. To use the card, you have to equip it first. Put it in your left hand. To use the shield, put it in your right hand. To put the bandages in your inventory. Sometimes you'll need to discard a card to continue. Drag the useless mug into the discard pile. Equipped cards and monsters cannot be discarded unless the card states otherwise. As the, uh, a round ends when there's only one card left, let's go to the next room. So yeah, they, once it goes to the next room, and then boom, that stays here. You've encountered three monsters. Drag your weapon card onto the monster to attack it. You can also use your shield to defend against, to defend against the incoming attacks. Drag the monster to your shield. You don't have any shields or weapons left. You can also drag a monster onto your hero. To heal, your hero's hurt. To heal him, use the dra drag the bandages from your inventory to the hero. Sometimes you'll find treasure in the dungeon. With gold, you can unlock new cards at the shop. Drag co gold coins into the hand slot to collect it. You can even put it. You can put it in any slot. I learned. You can put it here, or you can put it in your backpack. It's it's really not a big deal. Use uh, use items or collected treasure cards are discarded discarded at the end of the round. Let's go to the next room. The room is filled with monsters. There's no way we can survive this. Drag the runaway card to your hero to heroically run away. So what this does, if you look up here in the top corner, it takes two of your health. So if you see I have five, it's gonna go down to, boom, three, right there. But it does redraw the deck, which is really nice. Running away will do a bit of damage to your hero. The dungeon cards are put back into the dungeon deck. Well done, you've completed the tutorial. What they don't show you here is these five cards come back out. If you have no enemies here, or if you have all enemies here and you use that, it's just going to go back in the deck and come back out. Uh, it doesn't even matter. So that's what they don't show you here. It, 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 I mean, pff, that's what makes the game hard. It's super RNG. After a senseless killing of monsters, you could sure use a drink in the tavern. The tavern in the woods is your favorite place to be. It has just the right combination of ale, wenches, and bar fights to quench your never-ending thirst. A shady figure has piqued your interest. An assassin, maybe. How long has it been since you paid, last paid your taxes? You approach the man directly to find out. Hey, come here. 
The shady figure turns out to be a shopkeeper. The man has a lot of useful items to sell to an adventurer as yourself. You briefly consider robbing the man, but the grin on his face and the knife in his jacket make you realize it's probably a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, that knife doesn't look great. And honestly, like this hold holster right here, it doesn't look like he can, uh, doesn't look like he can whip it out fast enough. Cause I mean, I'm a big old barbarian. Look, I'm missing, uh, I mean, I, I, am I missing half a tooth on each side? I don't know, dude, this is gonna just grow in the middle. But like, I'm just this big old barbarian. I'm scared to punch this guy in the mouth, dude. Come on, man. So let's see, we got seven gold here. I don't think we're gonna buy anything. Does this really do anything? A baguette's so hard. Okay, so it does two damage. I don't know if we're gonna grab that. I grabbed it on my last play, but I never actually got around to using it. So we're just gonna leave it alone. So we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, deck builder. Is there anything in the deck builder? I don't think there is. Yeah, we pretty much have everything here. Uh, okay, okay, close. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? I didn't put it into my, um, I didn't actually put it wow, into my person. Nice. So let's go ahead and buy it and see if it does come up, right? Cause two damage will be nice. And that might've been the issue here. That might've been the issue with my last play is that I didn't actually, oops. I didn't actually have an extra weapon. Does it show up? It does actually show up into the deck. So, oh no, it doesn't. Right here, boom. Your hero cannot contain more than 15 cards. Please remove a card. Well, oh, interesting. All right. So we have three throwing knives, which do three damage. So, okay. So I already feel like we have too much meat. So let's go ahead and take one meat away and put this in. Actually, let's go ahead and do... Yeah, the meat's nice since it's three health as opposed to four. Like, I don't like wasting four. We only have six health in general. So having a four and a three, that's pretty nice. But I do think we should bring it down to two. And then bring another shield. The shield is Pog. The shield helps a lot. So I think this is a good loadout, actually. I, 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 think, I think this would work out. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and hit done here. This could be the bane of our existence. We could, we could just die right off the bat. So we're gonna go hit world map, go to Wormwood. Monster threat 40, total loot 20. So I don't know what monster threat means, but total loot I believe is like how much money you can get out of this. So the max amount would be 20. So dragging each gem or each chalice, etc. So we're gonna go ahead and do put this here, put this here, put this here. And I think I wanna not take the damage from the boggling. So I can go like this and then I can go like this. And that leaves us with one here. We'll go here and then, all right, so I kind of like this. This and then this, it gets rid of him. Bring him down and bring the gold ring so we can get three out of that. We will bring this here and then we will attack with, interesting. Um, I don't want to use this. So I don't, I, I always want to take him out. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. We're going to go, uh, I don't know. I don't want to waste this. This is, this is a good weapon, but we do have to get rid of you gonna go ahead and do this and then I feel like we should just dump this I don't think we need all the gold right now and we could leave him alive so I'm not wasting that so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and dump the gold and we'll move on to the next area here and we'll do this we'll do this and you know what I think we're gonna have to just so we could get this gem here as well please oh see and that's where that's where it hex us right we didn't actually get anything out of this but we could do this right we go here here we'll heal up we'll do this and we'll heal up again maybe we'll heal up again uh i think we'll do this we'll do this and then we will do i don't know i don't know i want to take the damage from him but that poison is horrible basically it does one damage every turn so like if you get poisoned in the beginning and you have 10 turns you get 10 damage that's too much you're gonna constantly be healing it just it's just a pain it's just the pain in the butt so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go like this and we're gonna beat you up no you know what i feel like the smarter move is this we'll do this okay and then we'll do this 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 boom and we'll leave him out so because we should be able to yeah there we go that's what i was looking for here we'll hold this we'll put this here we'll put this here and then we'll do this no we'll make him hit the shield because it will at least get the shield back with one if we use this and it's three damage 
and it has it doesn't leave one you know it's kind of it's kind of not jank but it kind of is no brain you know so we're gonna go ahead and do this and we'll take this and then we'll do this all right and then the baguette will keep and then the coins will take there we go and we're sitting at 17 actually that's not bad at all and actually we did end up finishing this area so we can go ahead and dump that and move on so we did it with a victory I like it. We killed 11 enemies, got 17 gold, experience gained 336, damage received 24. That ain't bad. In three minutes, I'll take it. That that went well. That went very well. I'm okay with that. Hrothgar was troubled. The loot from the dungeon was not enough to cover even the most basic expenses. Oh, dude, we're still broke. That's not okay. We're going to go take a look at the shop, see what else they have here. So we can't really get anything just yet. We have 19 gold, and the minimum thing they have here is 25 gold. But we can get a sausage for 130 gold. So, I mean, uh, we'll see what that does uh, eventually. Hopefully, we can get it in this tutorial or this demo. Uh, the deck builder, I don't think we can add any more to our deck. We cannot, so we will just go ahead and press on to the next section of the world map, which is Black Burrow. The monster threat is 44. The total loot is 35. Let's try to aim for as close to 35 as possible. All right. So the eye. What are we doing here? All right. So we got wood shield. This thing here. We are going to take this. And I think I want to take the four damage from you. I feel like that's a good move. I could re-roll for three, actually. So let's go ahead and do... Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so instead of taking the four damage, now they do go back into the deck, but that is okay because we did have a, uh, a lame roll. I don't like this roll actually either. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hold you, hold you, hold you. Uh, okay, and we're gonna take this, and we're gonna actually eat this hit just so we can get rid of an, another monster card. We'll leave the ogre here. The ogre, he's a, he's a stinky boy, you know what I mean? Do this, go ahead and heal up to six. This does two damage. Oh, no. All right, so we're going to re-roll this because we're going to end up dying here, right? If I do two damage to anything, that literally leaves us with one, four, and then I have to get rid of one of these. And, and that's just it's just bad news bears. So we're going to have to re-roll that. We keep our baguette here, which is really nice. But hopefully we can get another weapon. Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. We're going to go ahead and use the baguette against this guy here. Hold this and hold this. We're still at three health. I wonder if we can get... There we go. That's what I was looking for. Thank you for that. We're going to use the kunai against you. Bring you down. We're going to keep you here. And we're going to leave you alive, Mr. Bogling. Because we can end up doing... Uh, hold the bandages here. So this. All right, here. Bring you back down. We can go... I don't want to do that actually oh no that was bad i should have brought you down use the cleaver now i gotta waste this oh well it is what it is now we have the cleaver though at least it does four damage to something else that's nice because now we can use the cleaver against the ogre uh and then we'll probably have to take one of these we'll take the roach uh hit for face value i think i think that's the oh you know what though we could actually take the roach out no, but see, what would we do? We're still going to have to take a decent damage. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take you out. I feel like that's the smarter move here. Take the gem, and then we'll take the hit from the roach, because we can just heal up with the bandages on the next round here. And take you, and take you. We'll go ahead and heal up. Now, what we can do, what I'm going to do here is I, I'm going to take one damage from one of them. I'm going to take one damage from you and do it like this. Right? So we can keep the other boggling alive. I feel like that's the smarter move. I, I really, I really, really do. And then so for this one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do this and take one damage from you. Three damage from you and take you and you. So now we're sitting at 29 gold for this. We have the last round, which is perfect because then we do this and boom, there we go. Living on the edge. I'm pretty sure that means that we beat the round with one life. We did. We killed 12 enemies, collected 35 gold. That's, that's the full stack of gold. Look at us. We got every gold. We're stingy. We're stingy. With a 325 experience, damage received 32 in a minute. 
or three minutes. This is going way better than planned. Way better. I this is as far as I made it when I played uh the for the 20 25 minutes earlier when I was just testing it out. I didn't get past this part. So this is perfect. That's how hard it was to me. I don't know what the deal was. We're gonna go back to the tavern. We have 30, 54 gold. We're gonna go and see what we could get from the shop real quick. Uh I don't know. What does this do? Cures poison and diseases. Alright, so that's kind of pog. But the reason I don't think I'm gonna get it right now is because I try my hardest not to get hit by those poison dudes anyway. I know it does happen and I know it will happen, but having three slots and holding on to this for a while is gonna be kind of tough. So we're gonna leave it be for now. We're gonna wait till we get that other shield so that we can replace the other shield that we have. Go ahead and go back to the world map, go to Black Burrow. And the reason we're going back there is because these three diamonds down here, that's each level for this level. You know what I mean? So each section for this level, we're going ahead and start section two. I don't know how this is gonna be. We, I haven't progressed this far. Okay, I do like having dual kunais and this. And then we're going to go ahead and take you out and leave the roach be, you know. It is, it's our dude, you know. Um, I want this. You're going to attack. And then I'm going to put this back here. You're going to attack. And we're going to hold this cleaver here for now. Just kidding. We're going to use this. Hello? Okay. And then hold this here. We're going to hold on to you, Mr. Boggling. Ooh. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this, do this, grab you, grab you. Interesting. Do I want the coin? Or do I want the meat? I think I want the coin more right now. Because I have five health. I think we're okay. We're going to go ahead and discard the meat. The meat is okay. Oh. All right, um, all right, baguette, shield, this, take shield damage, take another shield, throw the shield away, oh wait, this, boop, there we go, and now we can hold the shield there for a little bit, all right, so now we're going to go ahead and defend against you, do this, put you here, this, um, uh, this, hold you, there we go. And so we're still not taking damage, which is really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, butt cheeks. Okay, that's not good. We're gonna end up taking... We're gonna end up taking some damage from this Uzi boy, huh? Interesting. So what I can do, though, is I could do this. And take the one damage. Hold on to you. Hold on to you. And I could waste this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, let's just do that. I don't want to. I don't want to get hit by you. I, I really, really don't. So we'll go ahead and. Oh uh, no, man! I can take. Here, let me do this. Right, we're gonna go here. Eat. Take this, and we're actually gonna redraw. So let's see what we get from the redraw. We. This might be the way we get out. Yeah, this might be. This might be. Uh, this might be the death. Because uh, this is not looking good for ya boy. So, we'll use... I want to know what this last card is, but I feel like we're out of weapons. I'm very worried right now. I'm very, very worried right now. Alright, so, he's going to hurt us so bad. This ogre is actually going to be the reason we die. Because I don't feel like this is a weapon. I haven't been paying attention, but I really don't feel like it's a weapon. We're going to use this on you. Okay, and then we're gonna do this. Okay, and then we're gonna use this bandage. Please give me another weapon. Oh. Oh no. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode. <laughs> but I mean, I, I like it. I like it. This wasn't this wasn't bad. This was what about a 18, 18 minute video, roughly, give or take. I know it's short, but I know if I do another run, it'll lead into the 30 minute mark, and I don't really want to do that. I like to make sure you guys have a brief idea of how it goes. So, if you guys didn't know, my name is Young Mushu, and I check through all indie and itch.io games. If you guys really like this game, like I said, there's going to be in the description below, uh, along with my Twitch, Twitter, uh, 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 Discord. I would greatly prefer you to leave a like if you can. If you really enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit the like button. If you guys really, really liked it, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button and get notified every single time I drop an episode, which is every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Or join the Discord. The Discord's huge. I will absolutely post every time I 
go live or I go, oh, you, no, it doesn't even matter. You know what, it doesn't even matter. I was gonna be like, we could bandage up and we could do this, but yeah, what is that gonna do? It's just gonna reroll the same three cards. Like I had said, at least there's proof here and we'll go ahead and run away again. So make sure you join the Discord, okay? And you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace, goodbye, barbarian. It was nice knowing you. Yeah.